Hi there. I was born in New York City's Brooklyn. Two and a half million people live in that borough. And so growing up, my friends were of every race, color, and creed. I ate in most of their kitchens and a lot of the moms yelled at me because I deserved it. The parents would say, go out and play. And we did in the street. 7th Avenue was the outfield when we played stickball. Home plate was the sewer cover. It was a tough but a good life. You know, they would call you for dinner and you'd better not miss it. And looking at me, you know I never did. Even our jokes showed we were tough. They were almost insulting, but we all could laugh because we knew that we all put our pants on one leg at a time. We were the same. One of the jokes I still remember is about Luigi. In World War I, the Italians were running out of men, and so they drafted Luigi, the village idiot. <laughs> now nobody is going to give Luigi a gun. So what they did was they gave him a broom and they taught him to shoot. Benga benga. And they sent him to the front. He was on guard duty when a massive attack came. And everybody ran except for Luigi. He went benga benga. And two of the attackers fell. Benga benga benga. And three more went down. With every banga, the attacking force went down. Suddenly, Luigi screams in terror and throws down his, <laughs> his broom and runs away. Following Luigi, moving slowly, was a six foot three inch blonde pole named Kazimierz. Tank, 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 tank. I still love that joke, but it's the lesson that humor is about the unexpected, like giving Luigi a bigger broom so he'd have had a bazooka. Well, maybe, but it's also that self-confidence protects you and lets you laugh at yourself. None of us were snowflakes who would melt at a single word. You know, microaggressions didn't exist to upset us, whatever they are. We were neighbors. We swept each other's stoops. We drank out of the same bottles. We laughed with, not at, each other. You know, the things that we did to and for each other, we got back double and it made us stronger. I am Mike for the Be More Better team. This has been a pleasure. Thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. Please comment, like, subscribe if you haven't, but always, always be more better. Body, mind, and spirit. And then be even more better when you share you like someone by telling them a joke. And by the way, one of our favorite games was Buck Buck. Bill Cosby had a really funny routine with Fat Albert in it all about Buck Buck. You get two teams. Ten guys each. One team all bends over, makes a line to pretend they're a horse. The other team jumps on their backs really hard. You go for distance, but the pile builds up so the last guy can't make it on top. He usually winds up clinging to their butts as he chants, buck, buck, how many horns are up? It was great. And another, by the way. We didn't worry about cultural appropriation or that calling a girl Pocahontas was racist. We casually referred to each other using the most horrible names. But always, always, when we spoke to a parent, it was Mr. Mary's father or Mrs. Mary's mother. Otherwise, we'd have gotten killed by our own parents. And the last, by the way, because my last name is Chuknitsky, Chuck Nick E. My big brother was Chuck, and my nickname was The Chink, or just Chinky. How about you? You got a nickname? Tell us. And now, a shout out to all those from 53rd Street, Head, Meatball, Nano, Teacup, and all the rest. I have enjoyed this. Until the next time, bye now. Fended 
by a micro by a microaggression, whatever that is. Ah. <laughs>